Buenos días a todos y todas. Me llamo Elizabeth Galausova, soy profesora de la Universidad de Fe Federal de los Rurales y est estoy uh, muy, muy encantada porque hoy voy a hablar sobre las oportunidades, las posibilidades, las becas por los estudiantes extranjeros. Bienvenidos a la Universidad Federal de los Rurales. Él es la universidad más grande en la región de los Rurales y uno de los más grandes científicos centros de todo el país. En nuestra universidad, los centros parte de una gran familia unida. Nuestros profesores siempre están listos para ayudarlos a navegar. También tenemos un sistema de amigos y colaboradores que se llama Buddy, porque por lo que no estará solo. Los Buddy pueden acompañarlos desde su llegada a Ekaterimburgo. Y también tenemos una maravillosa tradición, celebrar festivales anuales para estudiantes uh, internacionales, donde pueden aprender más sobre la cultura y las tradiciones de los demás, cocinar platos tradicionales, cantar canciones nacionales y bailar. La Universidad Federal de los Urales fue fundada en 1920 y combina varias áreas científicas a la vez, tanto técnicas como humanitarias. Universidad Federal de los Orales es un centro científico y académico que cuenta con una amplia y reconocida biblioteca local, laboratorios científicos y todo lo que estudiante necesita para su desarrollo. Para los estudiantes internacionales que aún no han dominado el idioma ruso, hay programas en inglés. También ofrecemos esta oportunidad para aprender ruso en línea, incluso antes de llegar a Rusia. Nuestra universidad se encuentra en la ciudad, en el corazón de la región de los Orales, en la ciudad de Ekaterimburgo. Nuestra universidad está ubicada en la ciudad de Ekaterimburgo, en el corazón de la región de los Orales. En nuestra región se pueden encontrar lugares hermosos, naturaleza, bosques, montañas, ríos y lagos. Se puede llegar en la capital de los Orales con el avión y si de repente deseas viajar y disfrutar de las hermosas panorámicas de la naturaleza local, esto también será posible con el ferrocarril transiberiano. Estudiando en la Universidad Federal de los Orales, se puede conocer más de la historia de nuestra maravillosa ciudad de Caterimburgo, admirar su bella arquitectura que combina edificios antiguos, modernos en el estilo Art Nouveau. Ekaterimburgo es uno de los más grandes centros económicos, científicos y también culturales en todo el país. No es una casualidad que Ekaterimburgo se ha convertido en una de las ciudades sede de la Copa Mundial de fútbol en 2018. Por cierto, el famoso estadio Caterimburgo Arena se encuentra en el centro de la ciudad y se puede llegar fácilmente en transporte público. La selección de las categorías de programas para los que pueden aplicar los estudiantes internacionales es bastante amplia. Estas pueden aplicar con um, pero no, estas son las áreas económicas, administración, finanzas, negocios internacionales, también humanidades, historia, filología, periodismo, ciencias políticas y sociología. También ingeniería, construcción y un bloque de ciencias naturales de disciplinas como física, astronomía, química y biología. Además, hay una amplia selección de programas de maestría en inglés en áreas técnicas de capacitación, como ingeniería mecánica, tecnología de la información y también en humanidades, que incluyen administración internacional, neurociencias cognitivas, filosofía política, relaciones públicas y publicidad en comunicaciones internacionales. Además, los estudiantes de la Universidad Federal de los Orales tienen la oportunidad de solicitar un programa de posgrado 
en inglés en las siguientes series. Ciencias naturales y matemáticas, ingeniería, ciencias técnicas, ciencias sociales y economía, humanidades y artes. Todos los estudiantes que estudian en a la Universidad Federal de los Rurales tienen posibilidad de alojamiento cómodo. Los dormitorios. Los dormitorios están ubicados cerca al edificio principal y no están tan lejos de la zona central de nuestra ciudad. También uh, sí, uh, los, los dormitorios cuentan con la infraestructura necesaria como cafetería, comedor, gimnasio, habitaciones para sesiones de entrenamiento. Los estudiantes de nuestra universidad viven vidas ocupadas, por lo tanto, cada año se celebra una semana de orientación especial para estudiantes internacionales de primer año. Y también organizamos el Festival Amistad de los Pueblos. Los estudiantes participan en el concurso anual Estudiante del Año, numerosas competiciones deportivas y eventos culturales donde pueden mostrar sus talentos relacionadas con el canto y baile, interpretación musical en el escenario y en el teatro. Aquellos que practican deportes profesionalmente y quieren probar un nuevo deporte, entonces en la Universidad Federal de los Urales será una oportunidad para ustedes. Aquí hay 19 instalaciones deportivas, piscina, canchas de voleibol, deportivas, gimnasio, estadio. Eso es todo, está ubicado en el campus. Hay 33 equipos de estudiantes en diferentes deportes. Los estudiantes que vienen en nuestro país por primera vez y a veces se preocupan con dificultades con la comunicación, siempre pueden contar a la, con la ayuda a Badi. Ellos le pueden recogerlos en el aeropuerto en la estación del tram y ayudar con todos los documentos y también llevarlos en el dormitorio. Aquí puede ver una lista de documentos que le necesitan de enviar para la recepción. El tiempo solicitud de admisión para este año necesitamos todos los documentos hasta el 28 de octubre. Por todas las preguntas sobre la admisión y la formación se puede escribir a nuestros empleados por el correo electrónico especificando. Muchas gracias por su atención. Les invitamos a visitar nuestro sitio web en español. Así también sigan nuestras interesantes noticias en inglés en todas las redes sociales. Estaremos encantados de verles en la Universidad Federal de los Orales. Muchas gracias. Uh, hello, dear friends. Uh, hello, all uh, future students who are interested in our university. Let me introduce myself. My name is Belova Nadezhda. I'm Dean of International Medical School of Pirogov Russian National Research Medical University in Moscow. Sorry. Uh, for all questions, you can ask by website, but I really recommend you to look through video to read uh, through all information on website and then ask questions. It's rather difficult to answer question how to apply to university. Uh, our rector, Sergei Lukyanov, he is biologist. He is uh, really very interested in students in our university and he is a famous scientist uh, all over the world. Our university was founded more than 100 years ago. Uh, this year we celebrated 115 years and uh, we start from the point when we provide medical education for women in Russia. We, were, we was the first university in Russia uh, where women can get the high education in medicine. We have a lot of students, uh, postgraduates, uh, and uh, for not classical, but medical university, a rather high amount of international students. I need to uh, mention that 
we are uh, work under Ministry of Health, not under Ministry of Education. So we have our special field medicine. Uh, of course, uh, studying in university, it's not only re, uh, uh, learning by heart, it's not only uh, classes and teachers. Of course, it's the best time of your life when you're young, when you can find yourself. And we provide you this opportunity with a lot of students' organization. As for me, for students of first year, most important to one last uh, of this list, tutor school. Tutors will support you and help you to be in university, to be in Moscow, and to prepare for the difficult lessons of first year. And public opinion research center where you can, uh, as uh, students of our university, decide what to change or not change, provide this information to rector and vice rectors and uh, discuss with them uh, your opinion and your ideas. We have a lot of specialty degree and uh, this is um, difference from uh, educational programs from other countries to Russia. Uh, it is prohibited in Russia to split medicine to bachelor and master degree. So most of our programs for whole six or five years. Of course, we have two bachelor degrees, biology and social work, but it's not real medicine. Uh, two main popular programs, general medicine and dentistry, we have in Russian English, uh, you will start with English, uh, you will have classes of Russian, but of course for last three years, you will be with real patients in real hospitals and it is impossible to provide you patients in English. So your patients will be in Russian and you need Russian language. Uh, we have three master degree programs, biology, social work, and psychology uh, with different profiles. Uh, they are rather interesting, but they are only second step of education, not from the first uh, course after the school. A lot of really huge amount of programs of residency, most of them for two years from this year, Cardio surgery will be for three years alone of program, but all residency programs are in Russian because I think 90% of time you will spend in hospitals. Uh, a lot of programs of, for PhD students from uh, fundamental medicine to clinical medicine. We are located in the brilliant part of Moscow, very green, very good. And uh, we have uh, our hostel in 10 minutes of working time uh, near the main building of university. And from the main building of university, you can reach metro stations, uh, the same 10 or 15 minutes, two different uh, metro stages. Uh, we have scholarships. It's, uh, I think, the most popular question, how to apply for scholarship in your university. When the program of government of Russian Federation future in Russia, and you can apply for scholarship for, uh, for this program, but I need to mention that this uh, program opens uh, in October, the year before application. So now, this program closed for this year and all um, future students are already applied and selected. We have our own scholarship, but it is for students from fourth year. If you are an international student and you have excellent marks for first three years and you have additional achievements in science, sport or social life, you can apply for total discount for our own a scholarship. Or if you pass only one session 
only one semester with excellent mark, you can get 10% discount. Uh, I can show you fees for the previous year. We are waiting for fees for this year. According to law of education in Russian Federation, and we can open uh, fees for uh, this year only 1st of June. So fees on slide. And how to apply steps. You need to apply with documents from 20th of June till the 15th of August for Russian language programs and dentistry in English, and till 15th of October for general medicine in English. You can apply online by website, no by mail. Please do not send me your uh, documents by mail or personal. You need passport copy of birth certificate, copy of educational certificate, all pages, copy of certificate of recognition of foreign education in Russia. If needed, you can check on the link I provide you. Do you need recognition or not? Medical documents, HIV analysis, analysis for hepatitis B and C, X-ray of chest and conclusion from general practitioner that you can study in university. All these documents you need in any case. If you are in Russia and apply personally, you need copy of visa, copy of migration card and registration in Russia, and copy of voluntary medical insurance policy. For all documents that are not in Russian, you need translation, official translation, uh, with uh, notary certification and pay attention to the spelling of your name, surname and uh, dates, because most of mistakes from translator will be in this part of the document. Entrance exams for most programs, chemistry and biology, if you apply for Russian language program, you additionally need to pass exam in Russian language for English uh, programs, only chemistry and biology, but exam will be in English. For Russian programs, all exams will be in Russian. Uh, our exams are computer testing, minimum score from 50 to 56 for general medicine, 56. And uh, uh, you need to understand that no electronic devices, no help from anybody and no other help uh, when you pass in test and you can pass test only once. To prepare for tests, you can use our uh, entrance exam page on website and you can train as much as you want and uh, each time you will have new list of questions and estimate from the system. Uh, if you need visa to uh, and you pass all exams and you uh, have the official document that you are a student, you can apply for visa also by website. Once more, if you still have questions, you can answer, ask me. Uh, by website, and I will answer you personally, but I need some time, so please wait a day or two for answer your question. And if you do not want to ask me by website, you can ask me by email or by phone, but please use WhatsApp or Telegram because we have different time in your country and in Russia, and it's rather difficult to answer you at night. Once more, I am really happy that you are interested in our university, and I hope that we will meet in September for me as teacher and Dean for you as students. Thank you very much. Hello, my name is Anna. Dear participants, I'm pleased to introduce you to Tomsk State University. 
I would like to start with a short review of Tom State University history. Uh, Tsu is the first and largest comprehensive university in the Asian part of Russia. It was founded by the decree of Emperor Alexander II as Imperial Tom's University in 1878. Today, it's an acknowledged center of science education and innovation of Siberia. 31 members of the Russian Academy of Sciences, Russian Academy of Medical Sciences, over 50 state prize winners and six Nobel Prize winners were affiliated with Tom State University in different time periods. Countless graduates and the university itself have significantly contributed uh, to the progress in education science and culture in the region and Russia as a whole. Remarkable achievements of Tom State University are globally recognized. Tom State University is undisputed, uh, undisputed leader of national excellence programs, for example, program priority 2030, and it ranks uh, 272nd in the QS World University rankings and ninth in the regional ARVU rankings. <clears throat> Especially important to outline that Tom State University is the fourth university among Russian universities. This place is based uh, on a high degree of eternalization and a modern management system. Entering Tom State University, you can be sure that your student years will be filled with only the best of what we can offer. Uh, here you can see some uh, small part of our statistics, uh, and if you are talking about our infrastructure, we have more than 21 faculties and institutions, 145 departments, and uh, Tom State University hosts more than 300, 3,500 international students from 80 different countries. We have uh, 42 research schools and 23 leading science schools. Uh, also, uh, these uh, scientific libraries, uh, laboratories, sorry, uh, means that you can <clears throat> study different fields and have many opportunities for your researches. Here you can see our rankings in different subjects. We are top 150 in linguistics and 199 uh, first in natural science and among top 200 in physics and astronomy and modern languages. Uh, Tom State University is uh, ready to provide you with wide choice of uh, different specialities and among most popular is uh, software engineering, applied mathematics and computer science, economics, management, linguistic, uh, rational regional studies, chemistry and many others. I would like uh, to tell you more about some of our programs, for example, bachelor program, Siberia area studies and business communication. Uh, despite it being taught in Russian, it's quite popular <clears throat> because this program allows to explore the region through study of its uh, business culture, political institutions, economics. After finishing this program, you will be able to work in private and public companies and joint ventures, consulting agencies, organization for international cooperation, mass media, business organizations, and many other fields. Uh, and the most important part that this program gives practical knowledge that will be useful not uh, only in your work life, but also in your day life. <clears throat> uh, master's program Russian as a foreign language. Uh, this program is uh, a program that is designed to educate students in linguistics with deep and comprehensive knowledge of the methods of teaching Russian as a foreign language. Uh, capable of independent research and methodological work and teaching. Practical approach plays an important role and is aimed at developing and graduate skills in teaching international students various aspects of Russian language to oral and written speech, linguistic and cultural studies and others. <clears throat> also master's program, Big Data and Data Science. 
in this program, you will be able to learn to how to get information you need out of array of multidimensional, heterogeneous, incomplete, and inconsistent data and do it effectively. Uh, data science is a rapidly growing field and job market. Successful career in data science starts with obtaining a solid knowledge and skill base that can be offered by a combination of classic education and modern practically oriented inter interactive learning. <clears throat> if you want to start your career path in the exciting in the new area the right way, you can join this program. And upon the completion of this program, you'll be able to choose the best application for your skills in research, business, analytic, or technical area. And uh, also program international management, also it's master's program. And uh, in global economy, international management is a relevant and promising area of professional activity. International management focuses on research of the business uh, environment, risk management, justification of marketing decisions, and managing competitiveness in a dynamic changing environment. Uh, this program provides opportunity to learn online from anywhere in the world at your convenience or take offline studies in Tomsk. Education in English and uh, the opportunity to study part of the professional model international business in Chinese. Also, you can learn Russian, Chinese and English as foreign languages. Uh, on this slide, you can see some moments of everyday life in Tom State University. Of course, there are many more uh, and uh, many events where students can have fun and entertainment. Uh, campus buildings are in the center of Tom's, so it's quite easy to commute. And if you're living in the dormitory, that's maximum 15 minutes walk from dormitory to campus. We have new dorms for international students, which have all the facilities students could need. Uh, and I can't forget to mention living expenses for students and dorms uh, around $14, $15 per month. Hostel is uh, $10 per month. And if you want to rent an apartment in the city, it's approximately $200. And monthly food expenses is usually no more than $150. But of course, it depends on the person. Tom State University can, satisf can satisfy almost all your desires. University has a wide range of physical extra curricular activities and it's all backed by modern and safe facilities where you can do sport without any extra thoughts. <clears throat> For example, Tom, Tom, Tom State University Sports Club annually holds and organize more than 1,000 events at the, both the university and city levels. Uh, university Health Day, Freshman's Holidays, uh, Mile of Peace and many others. And in case you want a uh, higher level of sport uh, club, Tom State University has own professional teams in different kinds of sports. Also, sorry, also there are <clears throat> uh, many cultural enrichment opportunities. So you'll be able to get closer to Russian culture, people and our style of living. Uh, for example, student missing theater or SNT show. You don't need to have special education in this field to join. Uh, Tom State University Rock Club was created for students who are fond of music, play in groups, or want to show their solo creativity. So this club accepts uh, different musicians playing in absolutely any genre from pop music to heavy metal. And one of the <laughs> Tom's favorite, this is Jazz Orchestra, Tom State University 62. You can see uh, the picture uh, on the right corner. <clears throat> the repertoire of uh, this uh, band is not only classical and modern jazz, but also Soviet music, Soviet music of the war years, songs and works of various genres, styles and trends. The jazz orchestra remains one of the most popular among Tomsk 
public, as I have said before. So if you're in Tomsk, please visit and listen. It's quite the view and very pleasing to hear. Here you can see the documents which you need for admission. So it's the usual list, passport, diploma, diploma transcript, certificate of knowledge if you have this, and diploma legalization if uh, it's needed for your country. Uh, you can scan this QR code to get to a website where you can apply for our university. Uh, <clears throat> so thank you for your attention. Hello, my name is Jay Mortera, and now I want to introduce Bauman Moscow State Technical University. Our university was founded in 1830 by order of the Tsar Nicholas I as first Russian technical university. Bauman is located in Moscow, capital city of our country. Moscow is one of the largest cities in the world, and it is the financial center of our country. It is home to many Russian companies in numerous industries, such as finance and technology. Moscow's landmarks include Red Square, the Kremlin, St. Basis Cathedral, the Bolshoi Theater, and Astankina Tower. Moscow has a large amount of museums, galleries, and libraries. These include the State Tretikov Gallery, the State Diver Museum, and others. Every person can attend that site. Moscow was a hosted city for many events. For example, Summer Olympics, Eurovision Song Contest, and the FIFA World Cup. Thousand foreign people visited our country during this period. Bauman University is the only Russian educational institution among top 300 QS. Employees' feedback indicates that our university holds a leading position in employment rate. Currently, there are 16 higher educational institutions and 8 research institutions in Russia formed on the basis of Bauman University, for example, Moscow Aviation Institute and others. Our university is located near the center of the city. It takes about 20 minutes from Red Square. On the slide, you can see the location of our modern scientific centers, sports centers, and dormitories. All parts of our university are located in well-maintained areas. There you can find supermarkets, cafes, fast food restaurants, parks, cinemas, and so on. The infrastructure of the university is 20 education buildings, 3 branch offices, 10 dormitories, 22 scientific and research centers. The university has 27,000 students, of which 1,500 foreign students from 82 countries. Every year, 7,000 students graduate our university. After that, they work in leading companies. Foreign students study in the same groups as Russian students. They participate in all events, such as projects and conferences. Our university has graduated a lot of famous people. You can see them on the slide. Now I want to tell you about some of our faculties. Firstly, uh, Special Mechanical Engineering. It is one of the largest and most dynamically developing faculties of our university. 13 departments train specialists and conduct research in the field of rocket and space technology. Mechanical Engineering Technologies. The entire range of technological directions of material processing, manufacturing of parts, and ensuring their quality is presented at 13 departments. Engineering Business and Management. The program offers a combination of fundamental university engineering and humanitarian training, including languages, with fundamental training in economics, management, and innovation. We train excellent specialists in that field. The Faculty of Biomedical Engineering is the first faculty in Russia for studying bioengineering. The features of education at the faculty include a comprehensive study of engineering and biomedical disciplines, both with Bauman University, as well as large enterprises and clinics, including Pirogov and others. Robotics and complex automation. Preparing students involves understanding the fundamental math mathematical and general technical framework, a deep mastery of computer technology and design skills, the ability to build a mathematical model. The fundamental science and linguistics. The faculty provides a unified methodological orientation work of educational units engaged in mathematical and natural scientific training of students. Uh, besides to the main training programs, the university has engineering centers which students can attend from the first year. On the slide, you can see some of them. Our teachers are share their experience with students and inspire them to study. In addition, the university has 22 centers, which you can see on the slide. Our university has an active social life. 
there are 100 student organizations, public life, volunteering, creativity, theater, extreme sports, comedy club, and others. There is also a community of international students who also organize various events. It is important to say about the international cooperation, because our institute manages international cooperation with more than 100 universities all over the world. Bauman University actively cooperates with the world's leading universities in America, Europe and China. Bauman University is the founder and leading university of the Russia-China Technical University Association. We also have various international programs, such as double degree programs, exchange programs, Erasmus+. The university has agreements on cooperation in education and research with international Russian companies, among our partners Rosatom, Roscosmos, Sber, Siemens and others. Now I want to talk about preparatory faculty. That faculty is for students who don't know Russian language. The education of the faculty takes one year. You can apply for the preparatory course during the year. After that, you have to take exams. On this slide, you can see which documents you have to prepare and send by mail. After checking the documents, if the candidate is eligible, the university sends a confirmation letter. We also recommend which faculty is more suitable for each student according to their results. After that, the university begins the preparation of the visa invitation in early May. After receiving the visa invitation, you have to submit the documents for the visa. On this slide, you can find information about scholarship to study in the Russian Federation. There are several steps. Firstly, you have to register on the site Education in Russia. After that, you have to take a test and finally, you have to submit documents to our university. On this slide, a list of documents that are needed for admission. National passport, diploma and all it annexes, health certificate, photographs. On that slide, you can find a tuition fee for studying, accommodation and medical insurance. Our international department are ready to have a conversation with every student who wants to apply to our university. We try to solve all your problems. Our colleagues can speak English, Chinese and Spain. We will be glad to see you at our university. Thank you for your attention.